Today we are going to be doing another review. Today's review is going to be on another Frisali product. As you guys know from my past videos, I really like the Frisali products. And so when I saw that they were putting out another product, I was like, we've got to review that. So this one is called the Hydration Bay and it's part of their Frisali Pride line which is a new uh, line that they are putting out on their website. So if you guys want to know more about this product, then just keep watching. But first, remember to like and subscribe, and let's get started. So the Frisali Prive line has no difference to it other than the fact that it is only sold on their website, and these are not limited edition products. They are just made in smaller batches because since they don't have to be sold, like sent out to stores like Sephora and held on their shelves, they don't need to mass produce them. They can just make them in small quantities and then when they sell out, produce more to you know be sold on their website. Uh, at least that's what they have been saying in the comments section on Tread Mood. So I am taking all my advice from there. It was a really cute package. I was kind of nervous because on their website it looked super small. So I'm going to be interested to see how big uh, this container is because this retails for $62, which I know is crazy, but if you only have to use a little bit of product every time and it is like a good amount, then you know, when you break it down by how much you use and the price, it might not be as expensive as we think. So let's see, I'm gonna open this up. It comes with a little like a uh, scooper so you don't have to stick your finger in there and contaminate it. And this is actually a decent size. Now, I wish I had something to compare it to, but like compared to my palm, it's pretty much the size of my palm. So it's pretty big. Online, it honestly looked like it was like this big and I was getting nervous. I was like, for $62, that's a little, little small. But this actually looks like a good size and has looks like it's a good amount of product. It's 1.7 fluid ounces, which is, I guess, equal to 50 milliliters. Yes. And it has a nice safety seal on top. So we're just gonna pull that off. Oh, good, you can put this back on, okay, good. I thought this was gonna rip off and then it was gonna be open, I was afraid it would dry out, but no, it's a lid that you could put back on. Okay, so it's like a gel texture and it has these little beads in it. Now, for all you guys who are wondering, these are not micro beads. These will, once you leave this mask on, you are supposed to put this mask on and let it sit for 10 minutes and then you massage it into your skin and these little beads will disperse a serum onto your skin and just kind of dissolve um, uh, dissolve into your skin. So let's see what it sm if it smells like anything. It honestly has like no smell. It kind of just maybe a little fresh. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> it, there's really nothing there. What I think we're gonna do with this video is first, I'm going to apply this all over my face and while it sits, we'll just go over some of the ingredients and uh, you know, talk about what makes this product so special. So let me just pull my hair back and then we will start the demonstration. But so just threw my hair up in a ponytail really fast so you guys might see a few of my extensions. I didn't really see to make sure that they were covered. And we're gonna use our little scooper and just put this all over our skin. I don't know how much you're supposed to take so I just, you know, just the guess and check moment. Oh, it's nice and cold. It's really cold and I actually um, didn't refrigerate it or anything. So I'm wondering if it just is naturally supposed to like soothe your skin as it goes on. Okay, I definitely think I took too much. Let's see, you guys can see like the little beads all over. Um, so what that's telling me is that this, you only need a tiny bit of product all over. I'm just gonna bring it down my neck because why waste product, you know? I'm trying to put all the beads. <gasps> I paid for each one of these beads, get them on my skin. These beads like sticking to my hands and I don't I guess we can just rub that in. So we're gonna let this sit on my skin for 10 minutes. I just set a timer and right now let's just talk about the ingredients and why this product is so special and why we potentially need to have it. Reviewing skincare products is a lot different than reviewing makeup products. Makeup products you can kind of make up your mind about them within like 24 hours versus skincare products can take you quite a bit of time because you know you're not going to see dramatic results like right away but i kind of want to go over what is in this product and why and what it's supposed to do for your skin and because you can buy products um you know either high-end or drugstore that you go through the list of ingredients 
and you realize I wasted my money because there's a bunch of bad ingredients in here and you know just one good one or whatever like you're only going to talk about the good ones so you need to make sure that the rest of the products are you know good and safe for your skin which is why I did all my research I'm sorry my phone is going off um which is why I did all this research because I, I went over every single ingredient in here there are 25 ingredients and I wanted to make sure that it is worth your $62 because that's a lot of money. And I'm glad what I know so far is you don't need to use a lot of product. Okay, so Treadmood posted a good uh, a post that kind of just went over it very, um, you know, the main ingredients and kind of tells you the background. So I'm just going to read what they wrote. They said uh, the blue blue bubbles, high bubbles, serve you a nourishing blast of antioxidant hibiscus oil, drenching dry skin and smoothing out uneven texture and creating a luminous complexion. It has hyal hyaluronic acid and tamarind, which boost uh, firmness and elasticity. Hibiscus plumps and tones your skin. So I feel like the gel portion of this must be the hyal hyaluronic acid and the tamarind and the little high bubbles, which are the blue little bubbles on my face are the um, hibiscus oil. So I'm gonna leave the list of ingredients in the description bar down below so you guys can go and check them out. I'm gonna give a little brief description after every single um, ingredient. However, I will also link all the websites where I found all my information from so you guys can go and check those and look uh, more into the ingredients if you would like. But I'm just gonna go over uh, some of the ingredients that I found interesting. I am probably not gonna say the names because I'm just gonna butcher all of them. But like I said, look in the description bar below and you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's important to note that this face mask can be used at night as like a moisturizer or can be used uh, in the morning as like a glowy foundation base, which is how I'm gonna use it today. So after I, you know, wait my 10 minutes and massage the beads into my skin, I'm gonna apply makeup and we'll see how it works as a makeup base. But now let's jump right on in to the ingredients. When I started looking at the ingredient list, it was a little overwhelming for me because there was a lot of words and I'm a person, I have a biology major, I've taken many chem classes and stuff. But even I sometimes forget that there are scientific names for something as simple as like vitamin E. And when I was looking at the list, I was like, oh my gosh, like, cause I would see like the main, like, you know, the hibiscus oil or whatever in there. And then there would be like a lot of scientific names in the mix. And I'm like, what do they do? And are they okay for my skin? So that's why I wanted to do this research for you guys. So you don't look at the label or the ingredient list and go, uh, what is that and why am I paying money for that? Is that just a filler? So one ingredient that I found that I thought was interesting was sodium hyaluronate, hi, hyaluronate, hyaluronate. I told you I'm gonna butcher these names, so I'm not gonna say most of them because it's just gonna be terrible. But this is a moisturizer. Um, this moisturizes your skin without it feeling greasy, but it also forms a protective layer on your skin to hold onto water and helps replace hyaluronic acid that is lost due to aging and sun exposure. I thought that was really awesome. I've never, like, like I said, I'm just getting into skincare, which is why I'm doing all this research for you guys. And I'm, you know, testing different products to see what works and what doesn't. Another thing that I noticed is they included quite a few ingredients that protect your skin against uh, UVA rays and UVB rays. And this will protect you guys against uh, getting DNA damage and skin damage and also just premature aging, which is awesome. It also has vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant, which tightens and firms skin and also protects, protects against environmental stressors and UV rays. Um, I highly recommend you guys going through the list down below and you know looking at the different products and maybe you guys will notice something that you necessarily don't want to use on your skin and, you know will stop you from buying this product or you'll look at things and start noticing how many good ingredients are used in this now that our 10 minutes is up the first serum that we put on our face was the hyaluronic acid in the tamarind seed oil i believe those were the two in the like gel and the high bubbles have the hibiscus oil so now when we massage the little blue bubbles into our skin we should get the hibiscus oil which will be like your second serum so let's just see i'm gonna see if i can get this on camera i don't know if it will so now that we just massaged the high bubbles into our skin the hibiscus oil is all oil this all oil all over so 
It does feel a bit greasy, which is to be expected since it is an oil. So since they never mentioned how long you're supposed to wait, I'm just gonna wait around like two to three minutes um, and then apply my makeup and let you guys know what I think of this as a makeup base. Uh, I definitely think overnight this would totally like really hydrate your skin because my skin's already feeling like really nice and nice and glowy right now. So um, I'll be back in a snap. Bye. Okay guys, so I just applied all my makeup. This worked as an amazing foundation base, especially those of you who have dry skin like I do. When you put your foundation on, I purposely used a thicker foundation. I used the Pure Cosmetics foundation. And when you put thick foundation on your face and you have dry skin, you know that everything likes to cling to any dry patch that you have. I also love that this had a cooling effect before I, you know, when we first applied it, it kind of just stews up your skin. And since I have sensitive skin, I run into a lot of issues of products um, kind of freaking my skin out, if that makes sense. Like where I'll get very sensitive, dry, flaky skin, or, um, you know, get really red and almost feel like I have a sunburn. So anything that has a cooling property to it feels really nice. So it was grippy. It had a little like tactfulness to it. Uh, however, now that all my makeup's on, it doesn't feel oily. As I had mentioned when I was reviewing the Rose Gold uh, Spray by Frisali, which I'll leave a card up here if you guys want to watch that review. This one doesn't make your skin, like your makeup feel um, like kind of feeling like when I sprayed that on top of my makeup, it was just like, ugh. but that one dries down a lot easier. So that's why I wasn't sure how this one would be as a foundation base, but it doesn't make it feel greasy like under the foundation. Who do I recommend this for? I 100% recommend this for everyone with dry skin. I think it just makes your face feel like, um, you know, everyone never, you know, when your face feels parched, this kind of just feels like you drink like, 10 bottles of water and now you're feeling great like it makes it nice and uh, moisturized so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i really enjoyed this product if you guys try out this product let me know and leave me a comment down below telling me whether or not you're thinking about getting it and whether this review was helpful so don't forget to like and subscribe and uh you guys can follow my instagram i'll leave it right here and i'll see you in my next video bye